All right, here's the deal. Here is your op today. Gonna put a lantern down. By the way, this is, these are the lanterns I'm using in the- Why the fuck do we have all these bananas around here? You play for Sacrifice. Okay. Yeah, let's find Jerza. Great. Here's the deal. Open up your maps. Okay, my map is still shit. I'm gonna go into my Zeus map, because it's brighter. You probably have your freaking Madge lights. If you look over, you should see a red headquarters marker and a radio tower marker. We believe that cooking with communists has started up again, and they're using that HQ area, which is a large villa, to make another episode of cooking with communists. Now, we clearly cannot stand for that. We're the YouTube police, okay? We need to make sure that that episode does not get on the air, all right? So you need to go over there, you need to steal all the laptop information on cooking with communists, and then you need to blow up that radio tower. We have it marked on the map for you, okay? That is your objective. I don't know why YouTube keeps flagging my cooking with communist videos, but they do. So we're, we're the fucking YouTube police now. Good luck, have fun. You have Bradley's, M113's, all the freaking new... RG-33 car armor pieces, you got an Apache, you have A-10s, whatever the fuck you want, just get it done. You just need to get the freaking data so we can track them if they ever do this again because our copy ID system... Yeah, great. Cool. Any explosives, you're saying? Who, who will be carrying the explosives? Alright, so just some background. Uh, a, that intro was from a good buddy of mine, uh, Band Incorporated, yep. or Band Inc., excuse me, yep, which is Incorporated. If you don't know him on YouTube, really look up Band Inc. and go sub to him. He's a good friend of mine. Uh, I'm still prepping my stuff for a meme war with him, but oh my god, can he do Arma 3 cinematics. Like, I thought, you know, Luke No 9 did cinematics for, like, zoo stuff, and then I met Band Inc., and holy crap. That is what Arma 3 cinematography is. Like, that guy, amazing shit. At least a good video every week. It's it's great. It's what I love. Um, stuff I definitely cannot do. <laughs> but anyway, uh, this op, the uh, background for this is uh, I've been running a series on YouTube... Uh, some little jokes uh, that we call cooking with capitalists or communists. In this case, we're going to say these are communists or whatever. But every time I put a video up on YouTube with this as a highlight, it gets flagged. It either gets completely demonetized and it's confirmed in a manual review or it just gets stripped from YouTube. I have the pictures up on my Twitter. It's retarded. So I guess we're going to play YouTube police now and shut it down. And uh, we have five different laptops in this AO, each set to a 30-second timer. And uh, they just have to get the laptops. We got one here, two here, three, four, five, and then we have one down here. And there's a secret laptop that has some secret information that will probably freak these guys out because they were making very lewd comments. <laughs> so we have gone towards these lengths. Now, in terms of the patrols, I didn't want to play with scripting to make these guys use flashlights, so instead what I've done is I've attached a lantern to uh, these outbound patrols. I have it to the squad leader and I have it to the guy on caboose, so these squads can kind of follow each other. And then the internal squad here, I've got the squad leader with the lantern. And then everywhere else, it is a checkpoint. Is only like, what, six of us? Oh, I forgot to turn this one on. Uh, so yeah... Just checkpoints, each checkpoint, uh, we also have this corner patrol. So each checkpoint has a machine gun turret and an SPG-9 facing a roadway. So we got one there, one there, and then one facing that road and that road. So this is like an Uber checkpoint. And then we also have a sniper group overwatching that corner. So the intro methods are probably going to have to be from the direct north or south. Uh, preferably the north in these buildings and they come up here, they can put a charge on the tower and then take out this garrison as I bring in reinforcements. Uh, mainly this uh, BTR-60 and uh, this uh, AKMS, uh, or whatever the fuck that's called. It's basically a grenade launcher. AGS-30, that's it. So yeah, get in, get the laptops, blow up the tower, get out. Not that hard. Now, I will also say there is another op I'm going to be doing with Rube. I'm going to teleport myself a little away, get myself on 50 real quick. Do I not have an LR? Ah, well, fuck me, I'm just going to use my short range. If 
you need me, I'll be on fucking 50. Copy that. Are you using that as your short range net too, or what? Nope, 60. Solid, I hate you guys. You too. We love you too. So I'm gonna get a uh, long range and uh... Basically, we'll listen to the short range comms and then the long range comms as well will be with uh, me. So let me quickly get a backpack. But uh, there's another op we're going to be doing, which is going to be more of a cinematic style op because people have been asking me for it. But my take on it is going to be okay. uh, we're going to be redoing an older operation called uh, Operation Glacier. And uh, Operation Glacier was a UK operation by commandos uh, where. They tried to pull in, hit a Taliban strong point, had to pull back, left a guy behind who was uh, killed by friendly fire accidentally. And um, the guys came back strapped to Apaches. So I've been working on some custom code to basically put people on these Apaches. And I've come up with some pretty funny things, uh, funny positions to work with. So um, we'll do an op like that. And... Um, just A, I didn't have the time to fully set up because that's a complete custom region, custom scripting. I got to bring in a Swedish Armed Forces mod to bring up the specific vehicle. They were using a Viking, which is a BV something, something, something like 100 designation. I already forget it, but it's basically a two-tracked vehicle that was for amphibious stuff. So I'm going to hide myself put myself in kind of the center point of the AO. Put myself up, make sure I am on 50 if they need me, and we should be good to go. So yeah, uh, that's later, but uh, we just have this as a simple op. But uh, yeah, you know, we're just kind of waiting for them to proceed into the AO. They can spend all the time they want doing recon. But then after this, uh, after this concludes, I will be going on the 506 server and prepping a very special Secret Squirrel op. And when I say special, I mean it's special, because normally Secret Squirrel is all infantry-based, but since Captain Soto is doing a ra or not a raffle, excuse me, a fundraiser for his charity uh, within Puerto Rico, he's going to be flying tonight. So I'm going to have the infantry kind of guide targets in for him. And, um, yeah, we're just going to basically bomb the shit out of stuff on Tanoa. And we're going to get some stuff that for this Friday operation for the Syndicate campaign, uh, there will be some stuff that they can retrieve that the 506 is basically going to get them in tonight's op. So basically a lot of coordination is going on between these ideas. Uh, yeah, BVS-10. BVS-10 is the designation for the Viking. Uh, unfortunately, there aren't any mods uh, within the British uh, section that have the BVS-10. So we've actually had to go to the Swedish mods, and there's a BVS-10 in uh, Swedish Forces pack that we'd have to bring in. But it's like 2 gigabytes, so that is going to be its own custom operation itself. But that's for the future. Yay. So for now, we're just doing this, and another random number is fucking... Why does everyone always bug me? when I'm trying to stream. I seriously don't know why. I'm not gonna answer it. <laughs> uh, whatever. But in terms of actual lighting around this uh, building itself, I like it because this means stealth is going to be broken when it gets here because this is, you know, without NVGs. But we clearly see the patrols going around. Some of them it looks like they're getting stuck on freaking trash piles. So let's get the... Oh, you went in the house. Don't go in the house. That's bad. That's bad. Get out of the house. What are you idiots doing? Where's your fucking patrol? It's up here. My other patrol looks like they're kind of getting stuck around here. But otherwise, they're continuing on. But yeah, there's plenty of darkness for these uh, players to kind of sneak in and around. They just gotta, you know, do things correctly. So it shouldn't be that hard. <laughs> My house <laughs> in the middle of the trash. Yeah, I can't. I can't make this trash pile go away. It's just we have this random pile of crap. What was that? It's probably the four man patrol. But yeah, I basically spawned the villa texture on top. And furthermore, since it's from JBAT, I actually made the villa texture invincible. 
uh, because we did have an event a few months ago where they were assaulting a villa-sized compound over here, I believe. Yeah, I put it right here. And uh, they blew it up because they blew up a freaking enemy M113 that had pulled up next to it, and it blew up the villa. And I, I called it immediately, and some people tried to run out, but some got stuck in there, and poof! Arma 3 physics for you. Everything's literally made with freaking nitroglycerin and other explosive compounds. Why? Because fuck you. <laughs> Literally. Ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. A lot of good stuff. But anyway, they're still setting up at base. Looks like they're taking unarmed Humvees. Huh. Two teams of four from the looks of it. So two fire teams are going to go into this one. Out of all the vehicles to choose, not bad. I'm going to be perfectly honest. I would have gone in with a five-man team. Or actually, no, a six-man team divided into two three-man fire teams and then had two people in a Bradley. Uh, specifically this one, the Busk 3. And I would have had that on the side just in case anything got crazy fucking ridiculous. Like, let's say we're coming in from the south, even though I'd probably do an approach from the north because there's more building cover and you can kind of dart up these buildings and avoid these patrols. But let's say you come in from the south. Actually, no. I, now that I look at this, I'd actually do it from from the north. This makes more sense. I would deploy everything here. I'd have the busk stay back, like kind of right here overwatching the air. Hopefully the gun would be higher than this wall. Actually, hell, we can check. Let me grab a copy of her. Bring her back. I would deploy the busk again right here. Doesn't look like it would be higher. Actually, barely higher than the wall. So this would be an excellent firing position for it. And I would literally just send the five men in, have them do the op. If they need the cover fire, and have the busk immediately open up, engage this checkpoint, destroy it, and then move in, possibly engage any moving patrols. And from about right here, I have a really good firing line to just start mowing anything down that I see. To support my infantry to come in. Plant charges on the tower. Get out. But they also have to get the laptops too. Which each one is going to take 30 seconds. Six laptops total. Even though only five of them are needed for the mission objective. So three minutes minimum is going to need to be spent here. So five minutes total I'd say. While someone's planting the charge. Get in. Do your shit. Get out. But that busk three is your uh, your backup plan. So to speak. But no, going in unarmed, sure, you get the two additional men. And players for this type of AO where you have a lot of stuff going on, that's great. But, you know, I do have this puppy. I do have this puppy. You need to be really careful because these will kill players very quickly. Same with the statics if they're not careful, if they have not been properly identified. But otherwise, this is probably one of the easier ops I've made where it's I wanted to put another like full squad but run around here but I thought you know we'll just make it simple let's make it easy for them it's like these guys are cutting through to catch up with their patrol as well but for now they're still moving in Uh, yeah, everything everything NATO uses is either built by Bay or... Is it Lockheed Martin? I think Lockheed Martin mainly makes aircraft, though. At least American-based aircraft. But it's some... Um, I don't think it's Northrop. Northrop's like a subcontractor to Lockheed at this point in terms of military contracts. But uh, I'm not I'm not sure. Uh, Jake, that's a good thing to ask. Am I going soft on my player base? The answer is no. This is just a private op, and I'm considering the fact that there's only eight of them, and this is advanced medical. So when we do a spec op like this, like if this were the 506, for example, sending in eight guys, I'd have at least another piece of armor and another, like, five infantry squads going around this AO, simply because of the medical system. In basic, if you go down, someone can literally stick an epi in you and wake you back up. Easy as that. Like, click. In advanced, 
You can't just spend, you know, five seconds putting epi, someone get them back up and they'll be fighting. No, you got to at least bandage them and then get them back up with packs. Here's the deal. There's two types of advanced medical that I like to use, and this isn't counting advanced wounds or whatnot. There's advanced medical where you have the player damage coefficient set to one, or if these guys get hit once, they get O down, usually unconscious, stay unconscious. They have a low chance of waking back up from that. But then, you know, a medical get up there, bandage them, pack them up, bring them back up, usually takes anywhere from like, eh, just around a minute, minute 30 total, uh, depending on how fast that medic gets to them. Uh, but if someone gets like really fucked by a turret, for example, that pack is going to take forever and they're going to go down like this, like literally blink of an eye, they're gone. What I like to do to counter that is I like to set the player damage coefficient to 15 or 10. And what this does is these guys can tank a lot more damage uh, in terms of rifle fire. They can get hit like a good three, four times in the chest before they fall unconscious. But the only issue with that is, A, well, the packs are going to take much longer because when you go unconscious, they're going to have like usually around 10 wounds that are going to need to be bandaged and uh, then they're going to need to be packed up. So medics themselves are going to have a bit of a longer, not a bit, a longer time in general bringing people back up. But hopefully with all that fire coming in, players will, you know, get the sense that, okay, there's contact there. They need to pull back and they need to adjust their strategy because if they keep attacking that position head on, they're going to get end up fucked and they're going to be combat ineffective very, very quickly. Furthermore, I also kind of like it because you could stick your head out, maybe get shot by a dishka, and you won't immediately go down. You'll take heavy damage. And if you stick out and the dishka gets a good solid second and a half of rapid fire on you, you'll go down. But, you know, if you just poke your head out to check real quick, it usually doesn't get you unless it's like a headshot. So it's this is me being lenient with my player base. More so, I want them to have a good time. But if they fuck up, the, the damage that's done is still pretty significant. So that's how I've really adjusted the medical system. Because all of them want advanced. Because basic, A, they don't like because it does make things too easy for them. And B... Uh, it's also can be a bit glitchy with the blood, uh, having to stick blood into people and the bleed out coefficient, just pain in the butt. So that's why they like to do stuff. Uh, pack personal, personal aid kit or something. It's a PAK. Yeah, personal aid kit. Uh, PAC is like political activist committee or some, some, something that helps people get elected in American elections. That's what a PAC is. Anyway, it looks like they've sent Flying Finn and Andruza on recon. He's got a small, that's Andruza, and he's got it trained right on the... Beats. Okay, if you're going to come in loud, why did you not bring in something like a frickin' Apache or a Bradley? Let's get in on their local communications and see what's up. The Rube, I haven't got a direct shot in this thing because it's behind another vehicle. I can try to fire from it. It might miss, though. Yeah, so his arc, he's got this in front of him. I can see the I'll IR strobes, but these guys don't have NBGs. Uh, 30% chance of hit. We look that way. They're completely invisible. In front of it. Yeah, that vehicle is slightly in front. That is a bit unfortunate, so actually. Behind a vehicle. I didn't plan for that Literally, based on vehicle in front this of individual it, building. The south of the BTR, and then the BTR behind that vehicle. Eyes on. Um... That is yeah, a 400 down meter down shot with the SMA. Uh, that is very control. risky. Otherwise, they've got the MGs, BTR, occupied, occupied, MG. Yeah, out of reach. Um, wait, one. Uh, which vehicle were you in? Uh, I'm the you were not in. Hmm. Okay, both vehicles uh, move up to their location once they uh, shoot. We're gonna pick them up and then we're gonna move to uh, with the line that I drew earlier, and we're gonna dismount at that point. Everyone, good copy. 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 I'm going to light up the fucking technical to the right of the BTR after Andrews hit it. I see what they're doing. This yeah. is a distraction. Clear the fire. Clear the fire. 
They got that. Oh shit, that machine gun's now opening up. Andrew? Andrew got shot. Andrew just got shot. Yep. He's down on the left side of the building. Get him in the car and uh, you look in the car and keep moving to the dismount point. Still cooking off. That's gonna freak all these guys out. Where are my two patrols? Seek and destroy. And then these guys, I want to send over, seek and destroy. Put them in the car. Yeah, I'm trying to. We have a lot of infantry. You have 15 seconds. Put them in the Humvee to the uh, back. Copy. We don't know what's going on, but I'm going to send everything I got to go check out what the hell that was. Hissing. Stop moving. Uh, I'm in. Move with the line. There's a lot of infantry to our north. I can't see those Humvees. Oh, he sees him. He sees him. All right. Start pursuing. He's going to say, hey, I see American Humvees heading to the right. Here, join up with those guys. We're going to start chasing... There would have seen this light, so they know they're going up this direction now. Cool. Yeah, these lights are on. So as long as they hide the parked cars, they should be okay. Send in Dota back in six now. UK um, Woody, thanks for the sub, my friend. I hope you're enjoying right uh, the op right now. And you just why? Halfway done. Why would you do I'm that, you frickin' so, yeah. dumbass? Top it up. The AI don't know where we are. They're searching uh, the north, uh, southwest. I know they went that way, so I'm gonna have them check station. around this AO. Uh, we're gonna follow the line, and we should have a pretty clear path to walk through. No AI in our way. Uh, there is a still an MG cam to our right once we go down that so line. Go, all I care about out, is, A, these the guys are probably now so watching over. Oh, We're going to have them come over, check if uh, anything uh, drove by this, that way. Uh, Otherwise, since they no, hit here, that was probably a diversion for something, but we watched them go out. They were a bit too slow yeah, there. Andrew. So we're just going to check around. But again, we don't know their specific position. Let's get this party started. Sniper Tiger, can of toast, you are from. I'm going to call for reinforcements as well. Keep out of the light as much as possible. Are we leaving the fix? We're leaving the fix here. Mark them on map though. Oh no, they're already marked at this point, so don't worry about it. Oh, my God. Too much. Uh, set them to get out. Meanwhile, I'm going to, since I forgot to do this. Yep, so here's the patrol coming up. Direct east, guys. They're next to you. Spot I'm gonna keep it 50 because it's nighttime. Weapon handling, I will bring down. Accuracy, bring down. General skill. 
set up to 90 because that's just their stupid pathfinding. Now, can I see that from here? Nope, they are dark. I would have no idea that they're there based on current night and day. West. west? And now they're yeah, northwest they're behind the building. Well, I haven't seen the mix. Couple more heading west. North. They're oh, coming back. We're just gonna set patrols now. This guy's gonna get out of the way. We did not. We have not spotted them yet, but we're bringing in backup just to be safe. Let's uh, let's give him a warm welcome, Take shall we? Defensive positions. Although, never mind, never mind. Move south. We're gonna spawn some flares. Get some illumination going. We're just gonna start checking sectors. Move towards the MG uh, They're throwing up flares, watch out. Copy. Let's take out that MG camp and then move in as quickly as possible. So I'm gonna get this guy out, he's gonna stay by the car. I'm gonna loop that guy back and then we're gonna have this additional squad come over and patrol because we have no idea what the hell's going on. But yeah, to the guy that to the guy that said I was going I soft on him, trust me, I'm not. I'm just reacting as a commander to what the heck they might do. First of all, IRL emergency, I'll be back in like 30 seconds or so long. That might not be a good time. These guys are gonna come down and then loop around. So let's see, this squad's good. I'm gonna set him to a diamond. Direct front. Oh! Shots! Are we spotted? They're shooting. Got him. He seems to be alone. Yeah, well, they probably got shots. People from the north are coming this way, down the street. Move towards the. Uh, it was the light. Right now. They were right under the light, and that guy saw him. Now we don't know where they specifically are yet, so I'm gonna throw up a few flares. Okay, now we now we probably know where they are, so we're gonna get some red flares. Behind us. We're gonna say that lantern broke. They're trying to flick you from the northwest. Keep moving. Double time at east. Back me down. Reloading. Get some light on them. Start moving forces in. Keep crossing, guys. No, get back in the damn car. I want you to come up and illuminate this area. Ah, uh, this isn't good. You're running in front of a barricade that's not gonna help you. Flying Finn and Andrew are still in that alleyway. Yeah, Andrew's is AFK. I'm, I'm fucking securing him. Alright, I'm going to ungarrison two squads, or the two fire teams back here. And I'm going to do two things. I'm gonna move north from my First one, from I'm going to send over... Seek and destroy. Second one, I'm gonna organize Andrew, right here. I'm gonna divide two to go over here to this position, Should two to go to that lights. position, just in case things are showing up. Kill the lights. Move north. Uh, south, south, south. Andrews, other way. And take out your gun. Got a bunch of smoke going up. Moving south, east to west. 
Double time into my position now, guys. But in Come four on. minutes, I'm going to start bringing in technicals and heavier units. I mean, this was meant to be a stealth op, but they're not... <laughs> Oh, we went in with uh, guns blazing. Kind of hit. Copy. Flaring their last known location. Send those two over. Send these two over. Echo south, south, south. Oh, come on, buddy. You can outflank. Oh, they're behind a wall. Disregard. This is flying further than Druida. We're going to move east. Start coming around on all of them. Hostiles east. Everyone, get back to me. We're too much spread out. Have that guy suppress that. Ah, well, he's not going to be. I think someone went down there, man. Can you suppress that for me? There you go. You got him. I'm wounded. I need to medic myself. Can you hit that spot? Druza just went down. Grenade just got thrown. I Sniper Tiger medic. goes down. Three men down right now. Flying Finn Bean out flanks. Takes that guy down. I think he's still okay though. And Drew's just down. Can of toast, are you up? This guy's still suppressing that position. Where's Andrew? Next to me. I'm back, you wounded. Over. Flare right I on him. I can have myself. That Vic just exploded. The south vehicle are down. Wait, I'm looking for you guys. I don't see you. You just map. passed him. Two more minutes before I bring in more reinforcements. We're on the doors. I don't see Andrew on the map. Well, you're not going to see Andrew. He's yeah, right he's next down. to Sniper he's Tiger. Down. He's already said that. Can of Sos is down as well. Heard a weapon jam. So his body looks like it uh, took out the wall and the glitch. We need to keep moving, guys. I got a can of toast. Here comes some more infantry. Sniper Tiger's trying to deal with them. Working on can of toast. There's that 50 cal. Roof tried to push up against it. Yeah, that is not a good idea. Oh, this isn't looking good. Deadwalker, it looks like he just traded with somebody. Not sure if he's going to wake back up. Also, I could have sworn we had eight operators, but I'm only seeing seven at this time. One more minute before I start bringing more reinforcements. Pop in another flare. All right, it is 2030. Big boys are going to be start uh, start coming in now. See what would be a good position to reinforce from right here, facing other way. Okay, who's up at this Middle time? Eastern militia. Uh -huh. I'm gonna need. Frost. Finn. Finn, I'm bringing some of you. Dead Walker. Can I toast and Andrew are down? Yeah. Who's are down and yeah. Andrew's down. I'm working on Andrew. Someone do CPR on uh, Can of Toast. Now, where are you? I want my off road. I want the other one. Dead Walker, if you can find Andrew and carry Seek him. Seek and over destroy. Here. Unload. Uh, get out. Kind of toast. 
Oh, well, whoever's free around me. We're gonna let there be a little bit of a lull right here. Middle Eastern Militia are going to gather their forces. And we're going to do a distinct counterattack in just a moment. We're still gonna have a few stragglers in the AO. But we're getting ready. We're gonna get our guys, bring them in. Then we're gonna pop flares and then do our another attack. That guy just went down. Yeah, one of ours going live with the machine gun. Yeah. Yes. Copy. Almost shot you. Yeah. Watch for the strobes. Wow. Right, I'm starting my pack. Check out. I'm gonna start fortifying my position because if I push them, they're gonna run towards the AO. So I'm gonna set up what I can oh, yeah, over at this flank. By now, I would Watch say the that these guys on the turrets can hold their own. We're gonna call in them, that we need. Tiger and that sniper is gonna stay there, keep overwatching. Okay. But right now, we're, we're thinking here. this is the only can. amount of force they're bringing. Here come our trucks. Um, like, oops. Holy crap, that counterattack went much better than I thought. Sniper, Tiger, and Rube are immediately brought down. They lost Andrew. Andrew's KIA. Stand out. Oh, bad flash, bad flash. One of them I'm threw a bad flash. There's two guys up. Frost gets outflanked by that machine gunner. And Flying Finn is down. Deadwalker woke back up. One life. Fucking through, bil through a building. I hit through a fucking building. You didn't get hit through a building, you got hit by down here as they were firing up, or this guy's flanking over. Bro, he knows you're up there. Who's still alive? Finn, barely. They know you're up there, so they're gonna shoot up there. Search building. I think I've got him. Copy. Search this building. Fucking flares. No, you're still there. Oh, some idiot fucked the I'm wheels. West, you. Right. East. I have to get them out manually and send them around. I'm bleeding out though. Yeah. I'm trying to get it. I'm good, but I'm fucking lost blood, on, lots of blood and everything. Yeah, I've been headshot. I found so. Rob. He's down. See, they can't see unless the flare's been landed. Everybody's down. We're the only yeah. two left. Should we make a run for it? No, I can't run. God damn it. Alright. 
So the guys up there, this guy is saying, hey, they've heavy casualties right now. Let's start pushing up everyone we've got. Rube dies. If this flare goes out, we have to jump the wall, though. Well, I cannot move anywhere because I'm fucking crippled. I'm gonna really keep popping so. these flares. Okay, watch west for a sec. You still alive? Yep. Yeah. Still up. Tank down. From where? Northwest, northeast. Pure panic mode. I've shot down a wall. Yeah. <laughs> Weapon jam! Gun jam, again. Buddy, I'm moving in. Good shot. Copy. But I think we're gonna have to start intentionally damning them, uh, downing them. Oh shit. Gun jump. I'm gonna start using white flares because they're a bit uh, bigger. Lots of guys coming from northeast. I'll try to start moving to the car. We have to move out of here. I'm crippled and both my arms are bleeding. They're around the corner, three guys. La di da, la di do, la di do da. Scrap pop, doobity da. Oh, I gotta reload. Here, I'll let him reload. We'll uh, we'll let the Zeus fates go into the AI. There's a fucking truck here. You, you might alive? be able to get out. Yep. You coming? Trying. Get in fast. Uh Oh, you are so lucky I had to reload! <laughs> he drew his sidearm for that one! Oh, so man. A warm welcome, shall we? Damn. Hot. Damn. Well, that ended in absolute failure. Got really nothing else to say, but wow, that I again not you know I'm not surprised. They At least we made it out alive. Yeah, barely. And again, for once, the second the secondary uh, arm was useful. Let's see, time acceleration. We'll start going it today. Hey, Rube. Rube, my friend. Rube, you have a drink in your mouth. Of course I do. Cool. Um, so. Dark space. Why in a stealth AO would you start the AO by blowing up a vehicle? Because it was the biggest threat in the AO, so. And it was good diversion to distract the forces away from the main compound so we can get into the compound in a fast-paced tempo. Okay. I saw the logic by that, yeah. but you didn't move fast enough. No, that, you know when, you want to know the problem? What? I blame Andrew for this one. No, 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 no. I have a real-life 
murder. I'm sorry. I literally couldn't. Do it. I had to go. Sorry. Oh Good no, one. he's not the one that made you fuck up. Like, how that went was okay. You're going into a stealth AO. You decided to blow up the APC at the gas station. I get why it's the biggest asset. You know, it's a bit of a red herring in my opinion. But okay, whatever that happened. Cool. Uh, yeah, sure. And, um... Do you just want to run that again? Like, real quick? Yeah, why not? Like... Alright, let me take the time acceleration off, give you all an ace heal, and I'll need, like, five minutes to reset the AO, but... Yeah, um... That was, that was, if you were gonna make it loud like that, you should have brought a damn Bradley to cover you. Like, really. 